Hey everyone, I thought it might be helpful for me to make a quick video for a problem I've been having and a proposed solution. So this is my spare cable modem, which is a Motorola MB8611. And why it's my spare is because I had to have the first one replaced uh, under the warranty and I had to, because uh, I had to work right away. I couldn't wait. It took a few weeks for the replacement to come through. I went and bought a second one. Uh, the problem with this particular unit is, uh, and while I'm pleased with it when it works fine, the challenge with it is that it is very susceptible to overheating. And so if the temperature, ambient temperature in the room is above 80 degrees, this starts to really flake out. It will connect for a while, and then there must be some sort of thermal shutdown process where it will kind of, um, I don't know, I guess put this in some sort of sleep mode where it's off for a, uh, a certain amount of time, or maybe the whole thing just goes into some kind of reboot cycle. Uh, and at some point, it seems to uh, cool down enough where it will come back on. Uh, so why is that a problem? 80 degrees indoors is a little warm, I understand, but... If you have this in an area of your home that you're not often cooling down, for example, uh, or if it's warm or if it's inside a TV cabinet or, or some other enclosure where it's, it's acting up, you may be having some kind of thermal problem. So I'm wondering if this will help. So I went on Amazon, I picked this up. This is, uh, I'm not, not gonna pronounce that, but these are 40 millimeter fans and i have them here uh they're 40 millimeter fans they come like this they have a little uh, grill here and of course this is the intake side this is the exhaust side because intake is on the open side exhaust is always on the frame side and what i intend to do these are they have a nice sort of wire separation here and then it's just USB on the other side. So if you happen to have a USB port on your cable modem or whatever device happens to be problematic for you, you can just um, plug that directly into the sort of offending device. It also has a very handy three-way switch built right in here. So let's, uh, let's turn those on now. Let me just make sure I'm not gonna have any problems here. Let me flip that over. There we go. This is low. And you can hear that's pretty quiet. I think for this purpose, low is probably gonna do what I need. I'm trying to get it close enough to see if you can even hear those. And then medium. And then high. At high, it's definitely audible, uh, but not any worse than, you know, what some electronic equipment that is spinning the fans up is doing, uh, I think. And they seem to be pushing a decent amount of air, actually. So, hopefully this will solve my problem. But I think even on low or medium, where they're not quite as loud, I think it's going to do enough to make some air circulation for this cable modem here. And really uh, looking here, all the electronics are on this side of the circuit board, this side of the cable modem, it just looks like the bottom of the board. And then on the unit I have that's powered on, all the heat is kind of venting out of the top. Now these are 40 millimeter. The cool thing about them being 40 millimeter is they're pretty small, about an inch and a half. And they would even fit, for example, I was thinking of mounting them on top and they're narrow enough where they would have fit on top nicely and I could have screwed them in. So I have a few screws here uh, and this does come with a couple of extra screws. And like I said, there's the little grill that's pre-installed on the exhaust side. But what I propose you do, because it doesn't make any sense uh, for my application, I'm gonna take that off uh, like I did here. I'm gonna put it on this side just to kind of protect the intake from getting bumped or uh, getting something in it. And then I'm just gonna Take this, throw a couple of screws in it, through the fan, and then 
mount them onto the side of the case here. Something like, I'll position them. I haven't figured out if I'm going to put them kind of vertically or you know, over, over under in a kind of a vertical pattern or side by side. Clearly there's a big uh, piece here where the, I can see where the coax is coming in. I don't know if that's kind of the root of all the heat or not, but uh, I'm gonna try to space them out around, or maybe I'll just put them in the center up and down and because the unit is kind of vertical. Uh, I may just put them over under like this and try to just get heat kind of central to the core of this. Then once I do that, I'm going to try it on low or medium, and hopefully that should get this cool enough that it doesn't keep overheating. So anyway, that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, if you are having similar issues, I recommend uh, looking for these 40 millimeter USB fan, I think is pretty much what I put in my Amazon search, and I got these, and they're they're pretty handy. They seem to be these quality. Of course, I can't speak to their longevity because I just got them. But I'm going to mount them up and then do some testing and see if it has any issues. Anyway, like I said, short and sweet. Uh, I just thought this was a pretty handy product for this problem. I think these were, I think, around $10 US for these. So uh, it does not come with the... USB plug, but I have a couple extra, so I'll just plug it in and use them that way. And I'll try to neaten up the cables and things, but uh, hopefully that'll solve my instability issues with this when uh, when the temps get too hot from where I have it placed. And hopefully the same solution will work for you as well. Hey everybody, so I thought I would show the finished product. Here's my cable modem. This is how I decided to kind of mount these. They're crooked because that's what was needed to line up the holes here uh, with the holes here. So what I ended up getting was number seven, five eighths inch screws. Uh, that way they were short enough to go through everything but not go too far and touch any of the electronics and Fortunately, my uh, my USB here has a uh, this USB port in my UPS, so I can just turn it on here. Now, the only caution that I would have for you is don't over tighten this because it will stop the blades from spinning, which happened to me. So, there it is. That's low, medium, hot. Let's say medium, and that's high, medium. Low. I'll probably use medium when I need this, but and when I don't need it, I'm just gonna shut it off. Like right now, I don't think I need it, but um, there are occasions when I think this is going to overheat when the room's gonna be purposefully hotter than this, and then I'll turn it on and see if it stops this from overheating. This will probably work on any kinds of electronics that tend to overheat, so hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.